the 4th of July in 1980. Uh, a coyote, a smuggler, uh, took a group of 26 Salvadorans uh, into the desert across the border. Uh, and after hiking for several hours uh, through Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument, he pointed to some lights in the distance uh, early in the morning and said, uh, that's Los Angeles. You just keep walking toward those lights and you'll get to Los Angeles. Well, it was the middle of the Sonoran Desert and those lights were a mine, copper mine in Ajo, Arizona. And uh, before the next day was out, uh, people began to die of dehydration and heat stroke out there. And those who survived when they were found uh, uh, were brought to the hospital here in Tucson. Uh, and and uh, some of us who were pastors uh, were asked to provide pastoral care to those very traumatized survivors from El Salvador. We'd take in people to asylum hearings uh, who, who had torture marks all over their body and fly in Amnesty International doctors who would testify, yeah, this guy's been tortured. Uh, and, and the judge would order him deported the next day. Jim began a small group to uh, help smuggle refugees from El Salvador safely across the border so they wouldn't get captured by Border Patrol or immigration. And it took about six months for Border Patrol intelligence to figure out what we were doing. And they sent us a message uh, that basically said, we know what you guys are up to, stop it or we'll indict you. And, and our, our answer was, well, we'll go public and, and we'll publicly receive a family from El Salvador into the sanctuary of the church. To declare sanctuary meant that you made the move ethically from protest. So we found that what we had done, in, motivated primarily by self-defense, uh, had become a movement. Increasingly, people began to contact us and say, what's this sanctuary idea and how do we do it? Some of us got federal felony convictions as a result of our, our efforts. We're not only opposed to this policy and practice of our government that's costing so many lives and is so repressive, but we stand in active resistance to that.